Yep, Atlanta's done with hip-hop station. This is Album 79. Your Dirty J, Nicks the Flies, guy on the radio, trapping out the trap house. If you know me, you should know me very well. If you know my catalog of forest music, and, uh, you know, I have certain friends that have been in the industry that's been my friends for a long time. It's just definitely personal because half y'all industry cats are suckers. Maybe 75% of y'all is suckers. Uh, Artists, rappers. Seven, uh, 95. 95, okay. He said 95. Well, this is my my good friend. He goes by the name of uh, Club Godzilla. What's the damn deal, B-King, man? king what's you know up, what man? Saying? You know, same balls, different draws. Come on, man. You know, like, ain't nothing changed, so, man. I'm trying to figure it out because I just feel like sometimes, like, I don't know if you sound too late because you move so independently that it don't even make no sense. I never see like a record rep walking you around. It's like you making your rounds by yourself. So what is your situation right now? I was signed to Columbia for the last three years. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Then Leave went viral on uh, TikTok and everything, I signed to Columbia. And uh, I just got out my deal with Columbia mm-hmm. earlier this Praise year. Praise God. Yeah, I'm back independent, back to doing what I want. You know, I could drop a video for my album tomorrow if I want to. I don't have to sit on a Zoom call with nine white people first. Right. Mm, okay, so yeah, you you so. Th- you think it's better just being independent, like being able to control your own narrative and your own. It depends on what kind of artist you are. If that's what you own, and you stand on that, and you got enough money to fund it, and enough willpower and hustling you to do what you have to do independently, that's for you. But if you lazy, and you don't want to meet every DJ, you don't want to work TikTok daily. You don't want to put that work in and you don't maybe have a, a good job to be able to fund everything yourself or you don't sell drugs or something. <laughs> scam. Yeah, scam, you know, <laughs> or, or hit man or whatever, right. you know, you may need a label for you to do all those things for you, you know, but I was built for this. I'm from Houston. You know, I come under Michael Watson and Slim. I come, I'm cut from that. So I watched how much money they made, you know what I'm saying, from the independent game. Just being from Houston and Texas so big, you can go gold in Texas right. alone. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that people kind of kind of get it messed up about how much money you can actually make. That reality is, even if you weren't the biggest artist in the world, for you to be able to do something that you love, that you like, that you do, that's fun, which music is fun, TikTok is not that stressful to sit at home in a big house and work this time. Instagram working, t- that's not that hard of a job. You could be cleaning shit. All the young dudes, I tell them, I say, man, it's all about do you want to be famous or do you want to be rich? You know what I'm saying? I listen to the radio, like, Probably about seventy five percent of the rappers on there. I know I got more money than them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because when you really learn where all everything come from, your your publishing, your your show money, your all that, you ain't got to cut it and break it down. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, ain't no broke rappers in Texas, man. Come on now. And I, I feel like you won off your Columbia deal anyway because I just feel like they didn't do nothing but take a record that actually went viral that you've been working on yourself, put you on a bigger platform, put you on on a, in a bigger space in the world, bigger realm to be able to just be bigger. Like that's 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 a goal. Yeah, Columbia, you know what I'm saying? I never talked down on Columbia. I, I met a lot of real people there. You mm. know, people like Moses who out here, you know what I'm saying? Moses uh, my dog. Yeah, my dog Jason in New York. Um, you know, uh, my A&R KC, you know, he from Dallas. and he, he moved to New York, and he was the reason I kind of picked Columbia because it was a bidding war when Den Lee was going mm. dumb, you know what I'm saying? So um, Columbia, I met a lot of real people there, but it just moves too slow for me. And, you know, Columbia, was it's a pop label. Mm. So I have to wait to Chloe Bailey drop first. I wait to Beyonce drop first. Mm. I wait to all this. And then when I drop, they don't really know what to do with me. I'm the most ratchet thing mm-hmm. there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when all you do is just take ratchet to those pop people. Yeah. And put a pop artist on a ratchet song. Yeah. It's going to go crazy. That's what I, I would do. It, it sounds easy. You know what I'm saying? But it's 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 one of them things where a pop artist, you know, they, they, they have their lane and they don't really want to venture into that unless it's... Oil. Happens organically or right. something, or some movie soundtrack or something. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I never was a complainer though. I was independent 10 years prior to signing to Columbia. So I already had my formula. You know, um, even when I couldn't drop music, I would still get on other people's songs mm. and live through my artists. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, hop on people's stuff, you know what I'm saying? From other people, you know what I'm saying? Music and just keep it moving like that because uh, no one, it's no one job to keep you popping and hot but yourself right you know even if you have label problems you gotta do something you just can't sit there and ride away right you know what i'm saying so like i say being independent 10 years up to that i already have my my thing i know how to work my fan base and you know what i'm saying all else fails man i just i just bring them cucumbers back out man come on now come on now <laughs> we was gonna talk about them cucumbers discussing justin you put them in the you put them up i don't know what discussing justin be. look I, I i saw kiki palmer and her uh significant other get into it about the usher Usher show and him singing to Usher. And I'm thinking in my head, I, have you, don't let your girl, you tripping on Usher, don't let your girl go to no club I, God show. I, I tweeted that. I was don't, like, man, don't worry about the Usher show. You need to keep your girl away from mine. What kind of so, nasty shit? We're going to find out she'll eat her. Come on. What kind of nasty shit has, 
I wouldn't say nasty because I it, it's kind of freaky to me. I kind of like it a little bit. What kind of shit have you seen being on the road at, at, a, at a Beat King show? What's not shocking to you at this point? The you had girls pulling whole cucumbers nothing, nothing down it. Rest in peace, Trouble. Trouble went viral for doing that, too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I trouble. trouble before he passed away because he didn't know I started it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A girl just up and hit him, and she had his song in the background. You know what I'm saying? So he posted her, and it's, right. he started a whole challenge through that. But that was one of my fans. Right. She got that from watching my shows mm. and all that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just one of them things where uh, 2018... Just came up with an idea and went done with it. And there's something I couldn't do today. Today I get canceled. Right. Like they wouldn't let that ride. Like I said, I feel like like I started COVID. Right. <laughs> you feel? Real talk. I had like girls sucking one cucumber, one on both ends, and there was a lot going on. I, I, all that saliva <laughs> swapping and stuff. I think I started COVID. Oh my God. You know, but aside from that, man, you know, um, yeah, it was it was crazy times. I had more crazier times in 2018, 2019 that I did now. And I'm way more lit. And turned up now. Right. It's just something about that era of my shows. It was crazy. That's when Uncle Luke followed me and he was like, Man, you showing people stuff that they ain't seen in like twenty years. It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? So So are the uh, shows still like that? Cause I, I feel like you do that at smaller venues, like you know what I'm saying? But now you you your venues are up now. You're not doing a lot of a lot of clubs. You might pop to a club here though, but you're doing venues now. It is is the is the freakiness and the nastiness still there? Like even oh, the Uncle still Luke. There. Like, it's just it ain't it ain't girls slobbing cucumbers no more, but it's still what there. They doing like, you are get they, on are stage, they dancing on each other? Are they you get on stage, I, I'll make you viral the next day. Mm. You know, Shade Room won't let me live. They post everything. Come on, Shade <laughs> you know Room. So it's like I can't it, wait. Next if show, you go too dumb is you know. Next you, show, be famous. I want to uh, call me to the stage, like my boy. I want I want somebody I want somebody to give my boy a lap dance. I want to try to go viral. For sure, for sure, Fuck for it. sure. It's like but, but see now, like oh shit, the level of success <laughs> I like. But I'm saying the level of success I've obtained and all that. You know, I try to make sure I'm not involved in the circus no more. Make sure that I'm running the circus. Okay. So, you circuit know, Matthew. one thing about, I learned, like, me and Uncle Luke was talking the last time we was on live. He was like, you know, just be careful about that lane, this lane that, that, that's, that you're in, you know what I'm saying? It can, it can backfire. It's a lot of stuff we had to go through. We went to jail for, for, for that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Certain towns and, you know what I'm saying, them cops will always be on you when you really are turning cities crazy like that, mm. making girls go freaky and... I was like, all right, man, whatever, man. But, <laughs> but it started happening. You know what I'm saying? Around 2019, I was banned from three different counties, three, three, three different states from doing these crazy shows. You're turning these senators' daughters into freaks. That's what it is. And the cities are turned upside down the next day on Facebook. And everybody talking about them and judging them and all that. And They've been freaks so, anyway. Sometimes you get a girl that's drunk on Henny and she she acting crazy that night, wake up the next morning don't remember being a hoe. Right. She's mad now. She's mm. feeling judged and she don't like this. Feel, now, she want the video. Yeah. now she want the video down. If you don't take it down, she want to sue you. She right. want, it's all type of, so you got to be real careful with that. It's a real sensitive lane. So I started making the girl's friends put the cucumber in their mouth. Mm. So my hand's clean. Right, <laughs> right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Get, okay. get your homegirl do it to you. And then okay. y'all both can be, ha, ah, we was nasty, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instead of thinking there's some dude sticking a, <laughs> a green, object, a green object. Mouth, that, that can make them feel like whores. And we all know women don't want to feel like oh, they want to be them, but they don't yeah, want you to call I them. I feel it. Out. I feel it. So, 2023, man, new yeah. single out right now. Talk Outside, to, talk about it. Outside, man. That's um, that's just me doing my formula again, man. Um, my formula that's been working for me for the last 13, 14 years is giving the hook to the women. Mm. Let the women have that hook, mm. and then for the verses. It's for the guys. That's how you can have a song like, get that bread, get that head, then leave. Yeah, we on these trick niggas' head. Yeah, they finna be tricking. And then I come out of nowhere, Club Godzilla, I ain't tricking. I'm digging bitches down. Like, come on. Whoa. Come on. Aggressive. Yeah, so the verses are for the guys. Right. But the hook Hook's is for the girls. women. You know what I'm saying? And that's just been my formula. That's me listening to everything that's going on. I'm a fan of everything. You know, Sexy Red, uh, Sukihana, uh, Glorilla. I, I promise everything. you, the first time I seen "Fuck Nigga Free" was on your page. Yeah, because I, I keep my ear to the street. Mm -hmm. I'm, I was the first rapper posted up. And that's why we still locked in. We cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a fan of all the women. You know, Lotto, uh, Cardi killing any feature she get on right mm -hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? And I remember when Big Body hit me said, "Man, Club God followed you." I was like, "That's my boy." Oh no! Shout out to her. She doing her thing too. I, I followed her early. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Definitely was like, definitely followed her early. I keep my ear to the street, especially with the women, because uh, the w women know that's my whole fan base. Mm. So uh, yeah, man, with the song is outside. As soon as you hear it, ratchet energy. Every um, 
club I've been to, I've been out here all week. They all running it. It's, it's all, already the hottest song in Houston. I've only been out two weeks. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? So it's going dumb. TikTok starting to grab it. It's going dumb on there. So Okay. okay. Outside, okay. outside, outside. Now let's talk about these features I got. I got something called You Got Me Fucked Up. <laughs> Cause a lot of people be having people fucked up, but it's you know it'd be one of them things like it's something that just itches your fucking soul like you just. Ah. I feel you. What, Mister B King, what has you fucked up? Who got you fucked up? What situation had you fucked up? What has B King fucked up? What have me fucked up? Uh... I just interviewed Moneybag. Moneybag said the bloggers getting this business and stretching the truth and changing the truth, so the bloggers got him fucked up. What got me fucked up is. Rappers that I thought I was cool with mm. playing around with me when it comes to features. Mm. That irritate me. Mm. So I'm like, all right, you're not obligated to work with me, but you said you do it. So when you say you do it, I make plans. I try to figure out what the video going to be, what mm. what the song going to be and all that. And then you hit me with that bullshit. Mm. And, and, I, and I, I've been outside a minute, 13, 14 years. So I, I don't take it personal because I know when you're busy, you're busy. Try to get sexy red on the album, you know mm. what I'm saying? That's the homie, but the thing about it is, she was so busy. Mm. So I respect that, right. you know what I'm saying? I try to get Glorilla on the album, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But she's so busy, she couldn't get to it, so I respect that. Mm. I don't like when rappers say they gonna do it and don't do it and mm. be motherfucking liking your picture still. I know you're not I know you're not busy right now. Yeah, yeah. You I know can look what at saying? your social and show and that you're not busy right now. You know what I'm saying? Or or do it and got you going through nine different lawyers to get it cleared. The the, the split sheets and all yeah. that. Or won't show up for the video or all that. I just don't like that lame shit because it makes me not shit. like your music no more. I can't yeah. listen to you no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so artists doing that, if you know who you are I've been yeah, there. Yeah, man. You got us fucked up, man. Hey, straight up. You I got us like fucked up. Lying rappers, because I can't, I, I, I can't listen to your music no more. And mm. I'll be like Gunplay. Turn this shit off. <laughs> <laughs> one charity. more thing, man. Yeah. Only you could, you could do this. I've done this in a while. It's called Freako Therapy. I'm not a therapist, but I, uh, you know, I study in the streets of therapy. I like to ask questions. Um, you know, I read a couple books, but I feel like I'm a street therapist. I got a segment called Freak Hole Therapy. Mm. Mm. I know you make the music to make the girls shake their ass. We already talked about that. They like being, not necessarily being called whores or hoes, but they like to participate in whole activities uh -huh. sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got Respectfully. Th I got thought magic. Okay, you know thought magic. Yeah. Okay. When well, I name the strip club, you let me know your experience and how you feel. Okay. Blaze. Blaze? I ain't been to Blaze yet. Ain't, you ain't been to Blaze? I ain't been to Blaze yet. Is that going? Is that going? Is that going out tonight? What did I knew they call it? The dirty hole? The dirty, dirty something? Is that going out tonight? I think so. It's five out dances. We're going to blaze. Then. Okay. Blue flame. Blue flame. I love it. Mm. That's to me. I think that's my home club here. Okay. I go to Blue Flame. Is it feel like I know everybody there from the door girl mm. to you know you know swamp. You no, know, everybody show me love. That's You're regular. First, yeah, that's the first club that was really stamping my music. Okay. Out here. You know, so I was just there last night. Okay. I'm saying so. Yeah, I love uh, Blue Flame. Onyx. Onyx, love Onyx, you know what I'm saying? When I was starting to turn up with my music out here, Onyx was closed. Mm. See, it reopened up again, and it's, you know, it's been, you know what I'm saying, turned back up since then, but I like Onyx. Have you seen the, lady, the new ladies they got, the new lineup? Well, it's always a new lineup. It's okay. Atlanta. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I had to check, check that out, too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, you know. What about the Stroke House on the east side? Oh man, I ain't been there in a minute, man. Ain't that where the uh, the zombies at? The, the old the old women, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the females that was back in my day, boy. When it, when Tip Trio came out, no, boy, they got I some was, youngins now. They, oh, okay. they, they, they didn't they, they didn't revamp. They got some young things in the night. Let me tell you something. When Lil John and David Banner had it popping, look. When I was 23, look. You know what I'm saying? Like, but nah, shout out to Stroke man. Uh, DJ Funky, I know he'd be up in there. Yeah, you talking about Diamonds. Now, I went there uh, Tuesday. Okay. I couldn't breathe in there because I don't smoke a drink. So I was up in there, bro. I was like, man. He was these, high. These bitches bad. But <laughs> my, my motherfucking asthma. <laughs> I can't breathe in this hole now. And I love, I love how small and tight it is. Like, that's some clubs. You know, you can really, you know what I'm saying, do get something you, in the corner. You get, know what I'm saying? Get your but, groove on. Yeah, but I was like, man, I can't breathe. <laughs> And shout out to Diamond. I can't think of the DJ name, but they ran outside four times in a row. Like, and all the money start getting thrown in there. So everybody, everybody came out on top. They start playing it outside. Okay, Magic City. Magic City, love it. You know what I'm saying? Magic's shout, magic. Like, shout out to my dog out of space. He mm -hmm. one of the early ones that was supporting me early in 20, no, 15, mm -hmm. 2016. Um, Magic. 
I just don't like magic parking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you $200 in, boy. You, be, boy, you ain't walked in. You $200. Uh, the, the 200 <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and you a rapper, so you got to park in the front. You don't want your window bust. You know how Atlanta get down. Right, yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? Atlanta thieves make sure they don't waste no time first. They look in your window. <laughs> Every one of them like, okay, that looks like a backpack. <laughs> now we can break the window. Like, you know, Atlanta gonna get you because if you got a nice car, you ain't gonna park it in no alley. Right here, you talk about. You know what I'm saying? So, there it is, baby. That's I, the only thing I like about uh, Magic City, the parking. That's it. Come on, man. That's mm-hmm. another episode of Free Code Therapy. My brother, B King, I appreciate you checking in. Trap House always coming you. through. Yes, sir. Outside. We, boys don't know, me and Stewie go back. Man, we got music from 11 yeah. years ago. Facts. You know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. Bebe. Yes, sir. Shout out to Bebe. Bebe. Mm-hmm. Who, who was on that record? You remember? Head down. That was me, you. Baby and a uh, level. Uh, uh, I bet you won't. I bet yep. you won't. Oh, I bet you won't. Yeah. yeah, that was level. That's crazy. Early level. Ooh, early wee. level. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, y'all looked that up just because, just for shits and giggles. It's still on. It's on the internet. It's on Club God too. One, yeah, one of my albums. Yeah, and I went crazy on it. That verse he went did. crazy. Yeah, he did. I was like, I had a Stewie Rock verse. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm it's going down, man. B King, ladies and gentlemen, we outside. Go get hey. that on all platforms. It's hot.